beyond reproach. But Honorable Speaker, the utterances and the actions of the Deputy President brings his reputation to disrepute because he has sown sorts of disunity and he has taken a trajectory that is likely to bring balkanization of this country. For that, Honorable Speaker, we cannot continue to have a Deputy President who cannot uphold the oath of his office, and therefore, Rigathi Gashagwa must go. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, if you look at the story of uh, Pompey, the wife of Julius Caesar, you realize that although he had been accused, she had been accused of sacrilege, but the court acquitted her. But Julius Caesar actually divorced Pompey, not because of what she had been accused of, but because there was suspicion that he could have done something like that. And on that, only on that, Honorable Speaker, as a chamber, as a parliament, we have the authority and right to say this guy has brought himself to disrepute, he has gone below, and he has portrayed himself as a man who cannot be trusted with the position of a deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. And therefore, Rigathi Gashagwa must go. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, Article 131.2, C and D gives the president and his deputy the responsibility to promote and ensure the unity of the nation and promote respect for the diversity of the people and communities. Honorable Speaker, the deputy president has presided over the politics of exclusion and has championed the rights and resource allocation to only one region of this country. Has the deputy president exhibited the values of national unity and diversity? No, honorable speaker, he has not. He does not embrace that value, a key value of the constitution. And therefore, this deputy president must remain impeached because for him, the vocabulary of diversity and unity does not exist in his vocabulary. On that premise, Honorable Speaker, the Deputy President, Geoffrey Rigathi Gashagwa, must go by end of today. Honorable, Honorable Speaker, Article 4, 5, and 6 of the Constitution, read together with the third paragraph of the Constitution of Kenya, reinforces the fact that Kenya is one united, indivisible state. In the same breath, Honorable Speaker, the Constitution establishes the structures of counties as units of sharing resources. However, the Deputy President has established an unlawful and constitutional structure of the country as a structure of sharing national resources, where we have now a new structure of shareholders and non-shareholders. Honorable Speaker, that is sacrilege. We cannot establish another structure of resource allocation apart from the one provided in the Constitution. But now we have a new structure where those who are shareholders in the country get more resources and those that are not shareholders don't get resources. For that new structure that he is trying to establish in this country, the Deputy President Rigathi Kajagwa must go. Honorable Speaker, There was a time in this country, Honorable Speaker, if you allow me to say this, and I will ask you to add me a few minutes more to say this, that there was a time in this country when the Deputy Chief Justice, the Honorable Nancy Baraza, was bundled out of office because of impropriety, because of an issue that Kenyans thought was not proper. Nancy Baraza, just pinching the nose of someone. And she was bundled out of office, the high office of the Deputy Chief Justice of this country. That's what happened, Honorable Speaker. Just pinching a nose. And she was bundled out of office. But here we have a Deputy President who has committed sacrilege, trying to balkanize this country. A Deputy President who has called people names. A Deputy President who has called a member of Parliament a prostitute. A deputy president who has amassed wealth that cannot be accounted for. For that honorable speaker, just like Nancy Baraza was bundled out of office, the deputy president must also be bundled out of office because of that impropriety. Honorable speaker, we saw 
the, the mover has ably demonstrated to us how he took on a judge. But honorable speaker, it is not just a judge. It is a female judge. Honorable speaker. Probably he attacked this judge because she was a woman. A lady judge. A lady, a lady judge. Where is the, the place of women judges or women in this country? If we have a deputy president who has no respect for other female or lady leaders in this country. Honorable speaker, for the abuse on a, on a woman judge, a lady judge, 